and good afternoon. Yes, we're back. We're back again in Boss Mechanic Simulator. Haven't been here since, wow, uh, four months ago now, I think it was. Uh, so much so that the last time I played this was on my old PC and consequently the save game has gone. So it looks like we're starting again until I can get the save game off the old PC and put on this one, which... Yeah, if I'd have been a professional, uh, I would have done that uh, before I sat down at the PC to do this today. But because I'm not, we're going to start again. <laughs> if you're watching this on YouTube, well, yeah, welcome. There was some of this, and now there's more of this. And then next time, we'll ignore this one and carry on from where we were last time, because, you know, that was obviously a thing. Uh, this going out on, I don't know what day. I, I just don't know. It's, it's going out on a day. And then some other things are going out on, on other days. Some buses. Monday, that's it. Yes, OMSI, Monday. The the railway thing, the trains, the choo-choos on a Wednesday. The, the the firm bus or the tourist bus on a Friday. There's the, the, the soon to be coming to a very abrupt end. Uh, farming on a Saturday. And flight's going to carry on for decades, it seems. Because that just never ends. Also on a Saturday. Trucking on a Sunday. And some other things. So hi Lava, hi Dylan, hi O4, hi Ryan, uh, hi Chris and hi John. So yes, get, gonna have to start again because I didn't put Cloud Save on. And I last played it on the old PC. I, if I'd have been here half an hour ago, I would have realised that. And I could have gone down, fired up the old PC, got the save game off, put it on this PC and carried on. But we'll start again. <laughs> because why not? And then next time we'll, we'll ignore, just ignore this ever happened. <laughs> I've got a loading screen. That's the thing. I hope we haven't got to go for the whole tutorial thing. Oh, okay. No, we haven't. Okay. The rear axle tire pressure needs to be checked and adjusted if if necessary. We can do that. Does Sam work on a Sunday? No. If you haven't seen this before, then there has been some content out on the channel already. Uh, where I progressed on from single deckers, but you know, we'll go back. It's the same sort of jobs, just on different buses. So it doesn't really hurt that much. Okay, well, that was some lag. Uh, right then, so uh, we've got to do the tyre pressure thing. What was it on the rear axle? I've got to remember, I'll do all this now. Where's the. Is it 1? F1. No, escape. No, that's pause options. Q. That's the thing. Okay, I don't know what the controls are. <laughs> it's going well. Um, okay. So, no, that's the options again. <laughs> See, anybody else would have... <laughs> I've got to check the tyre pressures, haven't I, on the rear axle. I'm sure that should be an easy one. Right click. Oh, yeah! Oh, it's just so simple. Right, rear axle. You can look at it to see where they are. There's the rear axle. And uh, do the tyre pressure. I don't need to diff the... Uh, Right, I just need to go and get um, the, the tyre pressure-y thing, don't I? Which is over here. There we go. Oh, hang on. Have I got it? Yeah, I have. Oh, bonus point. We like a bit of bonus points. Okay, I probably have got to put it on the lifter, haven't I? Because I can't get down there. Alright, tell you what, we'll put it on the lifter. We'll shove my thing forward. No, wait, I, I'm trying to... There we go. Okay, it's all coming back to me. No, I don't want to engage it. I want to move it. There we are. Right, we go around to the other side. Okay, no, we're, we're fine. We'll be all right. Oh, yeah, I, the only, the only reason I've done this today is so I can go and give uh, Travis a squeeze. Uh, because he's been left out for quite a while. Okay, now we engage them. Okay, now we can get rid of those. Okay. Oh, that's got too much air. Who overfilled that? And there should be another one, shouldn't there? For the, there it is. That's got too much air as well. Did they let an apprentice loose on this? They added the board behind the bus now so you don't fall in. 
Oh. Well, falling in was all part of the fun. Let's move that one. Okay, stick my thing on the thing. Stick my thing on the... There it is. Oh, no, wrong way. Where's my other one? I've lost my valve. I cannot find it. Where's my other valve gone? There's that. Oh, hang on. There it is. That, wow, that's a lot of air in there. Where we are. No, don't do that. Okay, that's it. Done. Let's make that visible again, because that's just odd. Bring them back down. Press the tab key, it'll show them. That's just too easy. We're not about making life easy. I'm trying to make life difficult to myself. Right, let's drag these out. Go across there. Um, go across this one. I'm sure you'd have an apprentice to do this, wouldn't you? Okay, look at that. Oh, God, that was pushed me backwards. You missed a wheel. No, I didn't. I did the inside and outside of both the rear ones. No, I've done them all. Do drop. Tick. Oh, okay. Something we need to do before we go any further. Oh, God. Don't fall down the stairs. Before we go any further, we've got to go and... Um, Travis! We missed you, Travis. Right. There you go. We've given Travis a squeeze. We'll, uh, we'll go and tick this job off. I did really well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, feature has a sign off job. There we go. Trav! He's very dirty. He wasn't that oily before. I'm sure he wasn't. Hi, Sam. Right. Job one. Done. Maybe. Twenty five points. Correctly executed. That's good. The rear axles tire pressure needs to be checked and adjusted if necessary. I've just done that one, so we'll decline that one. Tires on the front axle need to be replaced. Aha, there we go. We'll do that one. This time we got to use the jacky thing underneath. Because that's what they're called, jacky things. Same bus. It is, it's always the same bus. I was saying, in the other save game I had, I progressed up to bendy buses and double deckers and unlocked the emissions thing next door. But because I'm about to start again... Um, we haven't got that now. So, we've got to replace the tyres on the front of the thing. Is that going to copyright me? Hang on. I'm sure that sounds like... It is. Hang on, I'm going to get copyright striked, aren't I? Uh, music volume down. Thank you. Don't want that. Thank you very much. The jacky thing is correct. Uh, front wheel. So it means I've got to jack the whole thing up and then bring the um, bring the thing towards the thing. You know, the thing. Yeah, I don't... You've not watched an idiot before, have you, Lava? I just... I don't do things like that. Uh, I'd start again because the save game was on my old PC. If I'd have been sat here half an hour before, I'd have realised that. And I could have got it. So, uh, but I didn't. So I haven't. I could have started late. That could have been a thing. And then got the save game. But, you know, that wasn't a thing either. Right. Jack this up. Health and safety. Drop down there. Bring the thing in. I'm still holding the tyre pressure thing. Ow! Don't walk into that. It's the, what's the bendy down? Oh, there it is.
Right, move this all the way down to the front. No, keep moving. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Okay, and then need that. And then raise the the wheeling gauge and lift. I got to. Oh, I was way round, wasn't it? No one told me that, did they? Oh God, I've walked, not walked up the stairs again. There we go. Let's, let's just do that. So I need to. Don't have these up. Have these down. Okay. No, it's fine. I just move that freely. There we go. Right. Now I can get this thing out of the way. I can get this thing out the. I can get this thing out the. I can get this thing out the way. This this thing out the out the way. There we are. Okay. Uh, I've got to undo my nuts now, haven't I? Hang on. Not undo a thing. Oh, I can't unlock me. What? What? Good to me. I use a ratchet to no. I've got to use a spanner. Well, that's going to take a while. Yeah, I'm not trusted yet with anything pneumatic. Sam just loves buses. That's probably quicker than it would take in real life. You're not bouncing up and down on a scaffold pole or whatever. Okay, so now take the wheel off. There we go. Uh, go over here to the wheel buying place. Uh, buy a new wheel. And then I've got to go into assembly mode, haven't I? Put the wheel, put the, put the wheel back. There we are. It's the only bit that's odd that you're quite clearly putting on a, a nut, but the fact you've got to pick a nut every time you do one. And no one's checking the torque on them. You're not putting those little yellow uh, alignment things on them to make sure that, you know, see if one comes loose. So, you know, safety practices, not really that... Um, good here, aren't they? In fact, they're letting me lose on something, like a wheel. Have I done that one? No, oh, okay. Oh, that way. Right, that side done. Let's go around to the other side then. Uh, disassembly mode and repeat. Of all the mechanic type games, the car mechanic, you've got ship mechanic, there's probably, you know, thermos flask mechanic out now. Uh, I think this is the most enjoyable one that I've done. Not because it's buses, but because, I don't know, the way it seems to be done is uh, is great. Oh god, don't take the axle off. That wouldn't end well. Take the no, don't take the tie rod off. No. Wheel. The wheel engaging lift needs to move first. Well don't be pernickety. Well I can't remove it because I can't see it. How can I see something I can't remove? What? How can I remove something I can't see even? Right, now let's take the wheel off. There we go. Right, now go and buy a new wheel. I should try in real life. No, you're alright. Spare parts, wheel, buy one of those. 
yacht and fun. Oh dear, oh dear. It's just, no. Don't jump on the bandwagon. Uh, right. Reassembly of the wheel. Put the wheel on. Not the knackered one. They weren't bad. 23% and 36%. You get a lot more hours out of them. Screw me nuts. Do you reckon we should check the tyre pressure then, if we change a wheel, and we get more um, more Dubry Firkins for it? What? Why did you not? There we go. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, stick them on a bus in Wreckfest. They'll be fine. Uh, so for those of you watching live streams coming up uh, next week. Uh, on Tuesday is farm sim and uh, saying goodbye to the farm um, going to be uh, putting the farm on uh, hiatus uh, until the summer so it will be the final farm sim stream uh, until the summer uh, Wednesday back with some more Twains trying to get from Leeds to York uh, carrying on our venture uh, Thursday back in X-Plane um, did I put that down? I did put that down. Uh, yeah, Thursday back in X-Plane, where we're going to fly from East Midlands Airport to um, Innsbruck in the uh, in the Zebo, and then Friday uh, the return of trucking uh, ETS two. Uh, Saturday lunchtime more Nimby rails. Saturday night the return of Forza and. Uh, next Sunday afternoon? I've got no idea. Okay, that was actually... Why would you put a tyre on and not put air in it? You would get that from a garage, would you? Can you put some new tyres on the car, please? Uh, they seem to be flat. Well, you didn't say put air in them. What's that? 130 PSI. That's high or not? Uh, right. Ticky sheet. Ticky sheet. Tyre's front axle needs to be replaced. Tick. Right. Let's get ourselves out of here. Mind the cone. Uh, sign off job. The jack jack needs to be lowered first. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, and these are in the way. <laughs> Yeah, just check things aren't in the way before you try and get the bus out. Yeah, I don't worry about extra points. I'm not in it for the points. Okay, now let's lower the thing. There we are. Well, the walls didn't fall off, so that's that's something. Right, now we're, try we're trying to get rid of the bus out of here. There we go. Wait, start. That's a plus. A bit smoky, though. I thought they'd have brought it in for the smoke. Yeah, I'm here, only here to give Travis a squeeze. I'm not here for anything else. Right, did we get some pointage for that one? Uh, 50. Yay! Screen wash levels need to be checked and refilled if necessary. We can do that. Well, maybe we can do that. Possibly. We got a bonus 20 points for doing the air. Yeah, I just think I'm doing a bit of brown nosing in it, and that's just not good. Someone will go, oh, look at him putting air in when he wasn't asked to do it. Because you always get, you know, one of those, don't you? You always get that person that um, does the extra, extra thing. Okay, screen wash at the front. Screen wash, not coolant. Water needs to be poured in here. Oh, I'm going to do that. I open the flap. 
square spanner. But give me the flipping tools to do the job. Oh, hang on, I've got to go into... I've got to unscrew mid knob. No, I've just got to go and get some water. Water is... Over here. Water. There we go. Fill it up, fill it up. There we are. Done. Sign off job. Alright, so, see that's the sort of job I can cope with. Put that in there. Close that. Kick that out the door. Surely it wouldn't come into the workshop to have that done though, would it? That'd be something the driver would do on his daily checks. It was fine. Screen wash, yeah, done. The gearbox oil filter needs to be replaced. Okay. God, but I used to have drivers that used to do the, the vehicle checks. Um, a few times they wouldn't do them, so I just do. I put tests to see if they'd actually check something. So I would go and take a, a picture of the, like the screen wash level on a Friday afternoon. They were supposed to do it on a Saturday morning. I'd come back in on a Monday morning and check it, and they'd tick the, the, the sheet to go, Yeah, I've checked that. Mm, why didn't you put any in then? Oh, it's full. No, it wasn't. Because it's exactly the same as it was when I checked it on Friday. Uh, what am I doing? View job. The uh, gearbox oil filter. That's an underneath thing. So we've got to get it up in the air. Shove me thing forward. It does amaze me with these things that four of them will lift the bus up. I just wouldn't trust it. And, I, and I'm guessing they must run in... They must run connected to each other. Because you, would, you wouldn't just turn this one on and then... Oh, hang on. The back of the bus is going up. The front isn't. Uh, oh yeah, gearbox thingy. Oh, I can't go down there now. I can't drop down the back now. I have to go all the way down here, round the stairs. Do it properly, because, you know, health and safety. Oh my god. We have all sorts. Uh, they can't be asked. Too much water on the wiper wash. Blower motor is too loud. We even had one come back in because he said he couldn't see because of bird crap on the driver window. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh... Uh, I shouldn't have really... Yeah, I shouldn't have raised the bus, should I? What? Out. Well, out. We'll go and... Uh... Oh, I'm so good at this. We'll go and lure it back down then. We're just making sure the uh, equipment works. So we need to go through the seat at the back. Now, I think it's, it's from down here. Let me shift this thing out the flipping way. Save defect. Oh, that's cool. What the most stupid defects? Uh, let's see. Is it go through the seat? I can't remember if it is. I'll look at the thing again. View job. Um, no, I think it's on the. No, it's underneath. There's a hatch. There. 
uh, disassembly. Spanner ratchet. Oh, for God's sake, all the way down here. Fine. We'll get the spanner ratchet. Well, I can't use a spanner ratchet. Spanner then. Okay, no. I'm not trusted with a ratchet spanner yet. Right, got to go and see Sam now. Sam! Sam! He's never here, is he? He's always on break. Um, okay, no, I'll go and find it myself then. Hang on. Uh, gearbox, compressor, pneumatic spring thing, gearbox. Uh, oil filter, that's what we need. Hi, Skelly Cat. Yeah. Back tomorrow. Yeah, just <laughs> a note on the window. Back tomorrow. Sort of dread going in on a Monday because of all the things that have gone wrong over the weekend. All right, put in the... Oh, yeah, that was only at 17%. So put back in the good one and then reassemble the uh, the cover. The cover's fine. There we go. I've got to move these out of the way now, haven't I? Because some idiot put them in the way where they didn't need to be. Let's move that out of the way. Oh, yeah. Coffee first. Priority one. I got into work the other day and there was no milk. I was like, what? How am I supposed to have my coffee? Right. Job done. Change the thingy on the thingy. Sign off job. Easy. See, I can be a mechanic. Oh, God, no. Don't drink black coffee. First job Monday is check the breakdown log to see who's getting a telling off. I don't think Monday's going to loads of emails. Right, screen wash levels needs to be checked and refilled. Well, we'll do it because it's easy. It gets us points to unlock things. Right, we know we're going to need the square spanner undo the flap grab the water no grab the water oh that's quite empty that's uh, that's quite a lot of liquid going in there. It's quite an impressive sized watering can. There we go. Shut the flap. Kick this one out the door. That's a big jug. It is. That's quite sizable. Uh, sign off job. Thank you. See, whizzing through them now. Getting these jobs ticked off. If you are watching this on YouTube, there will be links below to where you can purchase the game. Uh, I'll also link down below uh, to the Twitch page where you can watch this sort of malarkey live. Uh, and also to the Discord server where you can chat to some of these idiots uh, in Discord. Right, that's done. 25 points. The coolant needs to be replaced completely. Ooh. Idiots. Well, uh, just, you know, blanket, uh, blanket description. Oh, 
friendly idiots. They don't bite, apart from Trent. Right, so. I've got to empty it from down there and then refill it from up there. Okay. So I've got to get the uh, the juggy plate, juggy thing, coolant collection tank. Put that there. Uh, go into the assembly mode. Hang on. That's the. Wait a minute. It's there. Why is yellow bucket in the door? I thought this was the coolant one. That's oil collection tank. That's why. <laughs> ah. I thought, why is it plump itself there? That one. Coolant collection tank. Move to position. There we go. That's better. What am I doing with that bus apart from breaking it? Attempting to repair it. Oh, my head. Uh, oil cooler. Chain spanner. Yeah, I just want to make sure I know where I'm undoing first. Uh, okay, it's there. Blimey. Okay, yeah, I've got the wrong spanner. It's just a good exercise, this, being a, a mechanic. Obviously, after every job, they have, like, four or five donuts. Cut the mugs of tea. Go and uh, squeeze a Travis. Uh, coolant pipe, heater, connection pipe. Where the hell was it? There, right on the end. Oh, I've got to go into liquid mode. Oh, pretty fluids mode. There we are. Oh my god, having a week. I haven't played it for so long, I have to remember what to do. If anybody needs a toilet. That's quite a lot of coolant. There we are. I was back in already. Okay. So this can go back to uh, where it was. Right now, add blue. No. That's water. See, someone told me off of just putting water in. It is just water, though. Air conditioning. That's just the thing. Yeah, I thought so. I thought someone told me off of just putting water in. So the same stuff goes in the screen wash that goes in the uh, coolant. I already had that. Right. Run across the ramp. Uh oh. Fall in there. That's dangerous. You're having a laugh, aren't you? I've just picked up the no, okay. No, it's fine. I'll go and get the square spanner now. <sighs> I crisp. Nope. Fine. I've put down my... <laughs> I've put down my water now. Hey, on. No, it's just a flap out to do. Not the whole thing. Oh, you muppet. <laughs> yeah, I know. This is why I don't like doing games that people have played. Right, that one. This one. There we go. It seems you only have one hand. Well, the other hand's holding a donut because I'm a mechanic. Or mug of tea. Mug of tea in one hand, spanner in the other. 
Or greasy rag. There's always a greasy rag in one hand. Or hanging out your pocket. I'll probably ban those now. Elf and safety. I haven't played it for four months. So it's a case of remembering what to do. It's not like it's something I play every week. Right, there we go. Coolant level refilled. Uh, this way. Sign off job. Thank you. Don't pour tea in the coolant tank. Yeah, it was December. We could pour tea in the coolant tank. Probably work, wouldn't it? Cold tea. It'd be great when it freezes. Right, coolant level done, 25 points. Cool. The cabin air filter of the air conditioning unit needs to be replaced. Okay, we'll accept that. That's the one down the front, I think, by the driver's door. Yeah, that one. Okay, cool. See, some bits of it are coming back. Do you lose points if you decline the job? Yes. Uh, I need the spanner. Handily, it's there. Another one. Take the thing off. There we go. Interior filter. Removed. Stand up. Go and visit Sam. Still not here, is he? Working on a Sunday. Sam! Sam! It's his pencil there. Can we steal his pencil? Sam! No. Okay. Oh, Travis. Uh, spare parts. Engine. No, oh, air conditioning, isn't it? Compressor unit, pneumatic springs, gearbox, exhaust, fuel, uh, lighting, IBIS, electrical. Air conditioning, there we go. That, done. Yeah, complete waste of a day staying in bed till like 11.30, that's ridiculous. Right, back into assembly mode. Fill back in. It was only at 43%. That was fine. That had loads of life left in it. Put the cover back on. And then uh, do my nuts up. Oh. Well, you've seen the state of him. Uh... Oh, hang on, so I can't shut that because I've got the wrong... Okay. No, it's fine. There we go. It's a very trusting company. Never get you to sign these things out. Exactly. I just tell Sam. Just shout, Sam, I've taken the air conditioning filter thing. He'll know. For which bus? You know, the, the bus. The bus bus. The The bus. Very smoky. You'd think they'd bring it in for that more than just changing the air conditioning. Lucky to have air conditioning. Uh, that's done. Tyres on the front axle needs to be replaced. We've done that, but we'll do it again. Installed MSFS and now another 12 gig to install that didn't install all the planes. Don't forget to install all the scenery. Like the England update, the America update, the China update, all the free airports.
No, you have to go into the menu and go into. Uh, you have to install the the UK one. You just managed to land the plane. Woo! Well done, Trent. Uh, what are we doing? Wheels on the bus. The wheels on the bus need replacing, replacing, replacing. Oh, under my thing. Turn around, bright eyes. Okay, that's done. Yeah, we're back in X plane this week. I need to install traffic global and the weather thing uh, and Orbex for East Midlands, the UK and Innsbruck. So that needs to happen at some point. Uh, right, that's done. They've lifted up a spanner. I need a spanner. Disassembly mode. And it's not time again. No, undo it. How long would it actually take to do these with a spanner? It's like, yeah, no, you're an apprentice. We're not trusting you with a ratchet. We're not trusting you with uh, anything pneumatic or battery powered as it would be now. It's like, no, we're going to give you a spanner. Off you go. Yeah, next time we come back and do this, I'll have to make sure I uh, put the save game in from where we were last time. Because, you know, being a professional, I didn't do that. Right, wheel off. Right on radio. Right, we'll buy two wheels and I'll just stick them in my pocket. Oh, okay, yeah, there's not, not so much to install if you've got the standard uh, version. Uh, new tyre on. Okay. And do me nuts up. You should really go across diagonal, shouldn't you? So you should really come across like this one. Next. So you should really come across here. And then maybe go across to here. And back to there. Yes, Trent has joined the uh, X plane posse. This is when you start going, oh, that aircraft's only that much, or that, that airport's only that much, and before you know it, hang on a minute, where's all our money gone? Right, that wheel, done. We like that wheel, that's a done wheel. Okay, let's uh, come in from this side then and do the same. Very rusty wheel. So yeah, Sunday afternoons going forward, I might start sort of bringing back some of the games that I haven't done in a while. So there isn't really a lot to do in House Flipper. But, you know, I'll come back and do some cooking sim um, at some point. Um, we've got truck and logistics I haven't done in ages. We've got Two Point Hospital to come back and have another look at. Um, there's uh, always loads of stuff. Obviously, at some point in the coming weeks, I'll be able to show you the bus. Hopefully before it's released. Uh, okay. Right, reassembly. Dr. Bunny revisit. Oh, God, no. Why does everyone remember Dr. Bunny? That was just a weird, weird game. Right, this one up. You have to learn to fly the Cessna G1000. Uh, that's the best plane to start flying in. And I would say, Trent, don't try and fly anything else. Stay with that plane. 
into you know do 20 30 40 hours in that plane because that'll get used to flying that'll get used to navigating from a to b that'll get used to takeoffs departures everything because if you if you keep switching planes around you'll just be as confused as anything right there we go that is done uh air now put some air in get some bonus points bit of brown nose in air thing see before I was just sending them out with no air in it's brilliant it's really simple I would say make sure you have um, sim toolkit open on another screen um, and uh, use that to be able to plan your route And just do direct flights. That's what I did when I first started doing it. Just go direct to one place, another place. And I was always flying. When I did my flight back from America uh, to the UK, I only flew to airports that were in line with the flight plan. So I didn't have to turn. I just like picked an airport that I could just fly straight in and land. Right. Done. Axe jack. Oh, I need to remove the axe jack. Actually, yeah, a little nav map's quite easy, isn't it? And I used to like that because you've got that green um, approach thing so that told you where the um, where the runways were. It's free, Trent. It really is worth getting. Oh, yeah. We're Ox. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah, it's le less confusing. And literally, I, I, w I would fly with little nav map. I had it open on another screen, and could you see yourself in real time? You can actually see whether you're going to be lining up for the runway or not. Uh, it was really good. Uh, 20 gig now, the USA and UK updating. I was missing. I'll be going back to GA again, so out of practice. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing X-Plane this week. Um, and then next week, we'll go back to some GA stuff in uh, in MSFS. There you go. Thanks, Sam. Right. Done. The cabin filter of the air conditioning unit needs to be replaced. We've just done that. But, you know, we'll, we'll do it again because we know, we know where it is. We know how to do it. It gets us points. What are points, mate? I started with FSX. Uh, and even Microsoft Flight Simulator back in the day. Uh, and then I bought uh, the Dovetail Flight School thing. <laughs> A good spot, Sam. Um, yeah, I bought Dovetail's Flight School thing, then went to Flight Sim World, which I still think Flight Sim World was great. Uh, really enjoyed it. For someone that, a bit like Trent, that is completely new to flight, Flight Sim World was brilliant because it showed you absolutely everything. All the basics of being able to fly, to nav, to turn, to climb, to decrease, how to line yourself up with the runway. Uh, it was brilliant and they ditched it so I made, made the move reluctantly to X-Plane and uh, never looked back and then very reluctantly made the shift to uh, MSFS uh, right Yeah, Dovetail will give up with Train Sim World as well. Uh, where was it? It was in here somewhere, wasn't it? Radiator, air conditioning. There we go. One of those. Why have we got birds chirping and dogs barking in the garage? Surely that's not great for health and safety. Yeah, I've got flights in World. Uh, I don't even think it, don't even know if it installed now. I'm guessing it would. Uh, 
kind of Sam's pets. Uh, Sam's dogs, is it? <laughs> he brings them to work. Well, it's so small, actually. He probably could. <laughs> he could smuggle them in. One in each pocket. <laughs> Your pets are the apprentice. They probably do a better job, Sam. Right, that's that. Square spanner. Done. It should install. Yeah, I, I don't really want to go back and and try it, but. Hi, Dylan. Alright, another one bites the dust. So, yeah, I really want to come back and have some time to do uh, some games like this. We're going to be rotating things around a bit on the, ch on the channel. Uh, like, currently on a Friday, we rotate between um, trucking and uh, something else. Um, on a Saturday, we switch between Forza and um, Wreckfest. Um, on a Tuesday now, this week is going to be the last in a while on the farm. The farm's going to take a hiatus. We're going to uh, mothball it and come back to it later in the summer. Yeah, I don't know what the adverts are. Um, so Tuesday then, we'll put something in rotation. So one week, it will be some OMSI. Um... Then we'll do, um, I don't know, something else, multiplayer, um, on a Tuesday. May, maybe occasionally we'll come back and do some farming from time to time. Uh, on a Wednesday, we'll always be trains, uh, railway Wednesday. Flight will be Thursday, so we're going to alternate between MSFS and x planes So one week we'll do jets, next week we'll do props, and same Friday alternate. So a bit of a mixture uh on uh, on certain days looks like chucky the bride of chucky uh view job what are we doing i forgot what we're doing now coolant level okay that's fine we can do that more dr bunny no uh so yeah i i really enjoy these sort of single player things but at the moment with the way the schedule is i don't get time to do them so a bit of a chill out single player Sunday so multiplayer we'll do on a Tuesday Thursday Friday and Saturday um, and I get Wednesday and Sunday to do some single player stuff oh that's very low we take up your time I love the multiplayer uh, I really enjoy it um, it's great even doing X-Plane that we're getting more people um, involved and hopefully that continues um, which is fantastic you know Wreckfest great fun um, we want to try and get a few more people in that Forza really good fun we want to get a few more people in that Trucking I think doing it now uh, fortnightly will hopefully get a bit more interest in that um, The Farm didn't go so well um, but we come back to it in a few months time um, will be quite cool. But yeah, I, I really enjoy getting the community involved and getting people to join in with the multiplayer stuff. It's great fun for you guys. It's great fun for me. But it's quite nice just to have just a bit of a chill out um, and just something single player. The coolant levels need to be checked and refilled if necessary. I've just done that. Oh, we've gone bendy. We're in the middle bay now. We've got a bendy bus, bendy bus, bendy bus. It's a bendy one. Graduated to a big boy. Uh, and we're doing coolant levels. I should imagine reversing one of these things is a right pain in the backside. Is that all it was? It was just... There we go. Uh, was that all it was? We just refill the, the thing. 
checked and refilled. Done. Oh, that was easy. It took longer to drive the thing in than it did to actually do the job. We've done it outside. Try to reverse the caravan. Well, they're easier when they're longer. The worst things I've reversed are tiny trailers. If it backs out, then they shut the door. Imagine they do that in the winter, not so much in the summer. Crew levels done. Uh, oh, all of the emergency equipment needs to be checked and replaced if necessary. This includes fire extinguishers, warning triangles, first aid kits, flashing warning lights and the window hammers. And the coolant levels need to be checked uh, and refilled if necessary. So we're back to uh, normal bus. Yeah, I know it's inside the bus. We'll do the current levels first because I, I have me, um, I have my thing in my hand. Now we know where that is. Open my flap. Okay, that's done. It's quite a loud flap, isn't it? Uh, right, let's ch check inside the bus then. Uh, 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 uh. Right, so hammer, fire the hammer. Hundred percent. That one's fine. Let's go and check the hammers. Hundred percent. That one's fine. Hundred percent. That one's fine. They're not really going to degrade, are they? You know, it's not like hammers like lose their ability to be a, ha a hammer over time. 100% that's fine okay so hammers are fine uh, fire extinguisher hundred percent that's fine um, first aid kit that's fine oh don't close your flap first aid kit that's fine warning triangle that's fine um, Okay, that was it, I think. Let's have a look at my job. Uh, done that one. So hammers we've done. Fire extinguisher and the stuff in the cupboard. Done. Yay me. They have expiry dates. It's fine. No one pays attention to those. It says flashing warning lights. What? So the hazard... Where are they? I can see flashing warning lights. There's the hammers. Oh, there isn't anything else. We've got the stuff above the driver. Hammers, fire extinguisher. I know, I know it says it on the job. But they're not... There's nothing on here. Nothing else in here. Flashing light. Ah, there it is. Check the hazards. No, there's a flashing light. It was in the cupboard. Hiding in the cupboard. Right. It was 48%. Was it? See? Oh. I, I didn't even look at it. No, it's fine. We'll go back on again. Oh, 46%. Okay, right, fine. See? Let's just take that then. So you can't see someone's paying attention. Let's go in the... Oh, God. Let's go and see Sam.
Uh, okay, engine, compressor, pneumatics, gearbox, exhaust, fuel, lighting, IBIS and sales, electrical. <laughs> Gone fishing, yeah. <laughs> Radiator, air conditioning, engine, independent vehicle heater. Or is it in one of the other rooms? If you click on the item while the pencil logo is showing, it writes the location of the part in the parts list. Storage space C2. Well, there was a... Well, I don't know where C2 is. Is it one of these then? Activation joint, articulation joint. Parts interior. Aha! Flashing light. There we go. Look above the shelves. Oh, no, it says C2. <laughs> I've only been playing this. I've only got like eight hours in, <laughs> in this game. I don't know these things. I'm an idiot. I know nothing. Uh, where am I going? <laughs> I would have found it eventually. Let's let's put this back then. There we go. Right, now we can close that. That's why I need to play these sort of things more often because I just completely just lose track of what's going on. Uh, right, sign off the job. Hi, Toad. It's a shame because we'd unlocked quite a bit in the um, in the previous game that I was doing. I will I will put that save game onto here. God it makes me think now. Some of the other oh god, house flipper. Oh, I've lost all my save on house flipper. Truck and logistics. I haven't played on this PC. Blimey, I forgot about save games. Uh, right, all the tires of the bus need to be replaced. It's a baby's head on ashtray. No comment. All of the engine equipment needs to be checked, replaced, necessary. Okay, so all the tyres on the bus need to be replaced. Yeah, cooking sim, I haven't done on here either. So I'm going to have to get all my save games. Yeah, I can put them on a USB and get them off the old PC and put them on this one. I just didn't think of that. Right, so... Oh my god, it's that's going to be a lot of wheels. Meow. Feed me. No. Fuse steam cloud. It depends on if I've saved, if originally I saved to see steam cloud. Uh, okay, so let's do the equipment thing first. It's filthy. Look at the state of it. Who cleans these things? Uh, right. Visual inspection. Uh, have we got any... Are there hammers in this? Oh, there we are. I don't miss one. Be down this side. Okay, hammer. 100%. Okay. Hammer. 100%. Hammer. 28%. Okay. So we need one hammer so far. I think that side. Hammer. Oh, no. Back to visual. How can I break glass thing wear out? Hundred percent. And hundred percent. Right. So need a break. Oh god, need a break glass thing. Uh, how do I up there? In there. Uh, one of those. I don't, know, I don't know how it can wear out. 
Uh, how do I... Can I... Oh, yeah, I can. Surely you'd knock a hole through there, would you? That's just really inconvenient, having to go up and round there to get to here. And, you know, opening the rear door of the bus is a bit stupid as well. Uh, right, let's... Um, there, wouldn't it? Okay, replace. Hammer. Okay, so that's done. Right. Fire extinguisher. 100%. Okay, fire extinguisher. All good. Okay, let's check these then. Emergency equipment. 100%. Emergency equipment. 100%. Emergency warning triangle. 100%. And flashing light. 100%. Okay, so that's all done. Now I've got to do the wheels then. Let's shut the door. So I'm going to need a spanner. Fire the spanner. That's a lot of axles. Ow! Right. Is that under the right? Oh, it is. Okay. Stand up then. There we go. Okay, oh, that's inconvenient. I've got to come at it from this side now. What the? Mm, I always need to put it in the air, undo them. Is really difficult to see. I can't see my nuts. Yeah, I have to put it in the air. Okay. Shove it in the air. Undo the nuts. Lower it back down. Take the wheel off. Wow, that's going to be complicated. That's a tight squeeze. Can't fit through there after a load of donuts. Okay. Up. Oh, I've got to move the axle jack. Sure, you, why can't you look? Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't know why you, it won't just raise it because the back wheel's already in the air. They're going to be in the air in a minute. Oh, no, they're not, are they? Okay. No, forget that. Fine, we just run back up here again. That'd be good exercise. Right, now do the uppy thing. There we go. Hi, Ray. Okay. Now I can play with my nuts. Okay. Real nut. Okay, that one. You can tell the economy is still... Uh, yeah, because uh, a lot of people are obviously that can't work or whatever are really getting into gaming. So prices of everything have just... Well, either you can't get stuff or the prices are just sky high. Which is great. More people getting into sim gaming is uh, perfect. Okay. So, wheel off. Not air bellows. Wheel. Alright. And no, I don't want the... Oh, there it was. Wheel. The wheel engaging lift needs to be lower. Oh, of course it does. Fine. Okay, lower you back down again then. You are trolling me now, aren't you, game? You just really, really... I don't know, I'll tell you what I'll do. Right, okay. Let's do some logic here. Let's take this side off. Ah. Just to remove all the wheel nuts while it's still, you know, in the air. That's not dangerous at all. Be 
lot quicker when I can get given something pneumatic or even a ratchet spanner. I'm going to end up with a load of nuts in my pocket. Right, okay. Now, it's gone again. Now, uh, lower it back down. Then go and put the thing back under it. Jump off there. I'm sure health and safety would love that. Put the thing up. Run back up here. Okay, now can I get the wheel off? No, okay, no, no, it's fine. I, no, I wasn't expecting you to let me to do it that easy. There we go. Okay, now can I get the wheel off? Yes. Yay. Woo. Right. Move this one out of the way. Wheel. And let me have the wheel. There we go. Right. I got a load of spare bits in my pocket, haven't I? Let me go and um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. That can go, that can go, that can go. Get rid of that. There we go. And then we want four tyres. Because we're going to keep that many on the shelf. Luckily, um, they're all the same size. Which is uh, quite a miracle, really. Got another four sets to do yet. I know, that's the problem with the bendy, isn't it? Uh, assembly. Okay, wheel back on. Yeah. Pick a good one. And then wheel back on. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Go around the other side, do the same thing. Wheel back on. Okay, and wheel back on. Okay. You can then go back under. You can go back under. And then so can you. Go, raise it up. Which I can't do now because, yeah, I've only got to lower the jack. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, we'll lower that. And we'll push that to uh, the next... We'll push it... We'll push it to the next axle so it's ready. go. No, don't stand up. I'll hit my head. Right. Round to the other side. There's definitely a lot of running around. Right. Now, I can... What am I trying to do? I've got to raise it tonight. I have to get the wheels off to fill with air. Uh, no, you won't. I can probably do the air while they're in the... Um, while they're up here. So I'll complete one axle at a time. It's the only thing. Surely you've got a pocket full of nuts. The best bit of this game is when you turn the lights on. Really? Yeah, I think... There's still so many jobs that I haven't unlocked on this, I say, because I'm about to start again. So this is one of those games that's got um, a lot of uh, a lot of hours of gameplay in it. Some of the jobs get a bit repetitive, like we've done the same thing several times. But there's so many bits that we haven't even got to. So it is something I will come back to. I almost want to get a timetable of games that I come back to them um, every so often, rather than. Uh, just forget, like, this has been four months since I last did this. So, uh, I have something that I'll come back to every couple of months, maybe, and, and do. Almost go, almost get a schedule. Yeah, I got quite far on the, on the previous save. Which I will put back in ready for next time. I had the emissions thing unlocked. Um, double deckers, obviously. But, say, because that save was on the old PC. 
I uh, forgot completely about doing it and I sat down here 10 minutes before the stream and went ah right so that is done so now I'm going to go and grab the air and go and fill the uh, put the air in and then do the next axle If it'll let me, yes it will. I like the fact they're not just easy jobs as well. They do get a bit more complex as the levels go up. Okay, that's that one. Where's the other one? There. Right. Yeah, cheers, Nico. That's that one. So do the same around the other side. And then this axle is complete. Done. And where are you? There. And done. Hi, Frido. Uh, doing good. Thank you very much. Right. So, this axle done. Now... I now need to take the nuts off of that one. Yeah, okay. So, almost trying to think about it logically. Now undo the nuts on the middle one. And then I can lower it down, raise the axle up. Okay, so into disassembly. It's also now a ratchet span pneumatic screwdriver. They're not pick I didn't pick it up, did I? I just put down my thing. Spanner. There we are. There we go. So take them off. Try and think about this now. Take them off. Both sides. Lower it down. Put the jack axle stand under it, raise it up, take the wheels off, put the wheels on, lower the jack stand, raise it back up, put the wheel nut back on, do the air, and then move on to the front ones. Cool. Nope, there we go. Right, so take the wheel. I can't take it off, can I? You probably wouldn't, health and safety wise, actually take the wheel nuts off while it's uh, up here with this as well. Okay. It's only because visually it's really hard to see the wheel nuts when it's on the ground. It's definitely one of those games where you could just spend, well, hours and hours and hours because you go, oh, I'll just do this job. And uh, it can take you 20 minutes. I'm, I, I'm sort of really looking forward to getting to the more complex ones, which is why I said I will schedule it in again. Uh, right, so that's done. Now I'll lower it back down. You downloaded a bus mod for NIMBY Rails, but how does that work? It's rails, not buses. Right, that raises up. Upstairs. Over the ramp. 
round to here. Oh, I'll move the lift. Is it me or does that axle stand sound like it's just constantly going now? Have I broken the axle stand? Is that a thing? Right, go and dump these wheels. Yeah, don't tell Peen there's a bus mod. Uh, okay, get rid of those. Go and buy four more. Okay, go and put these back. Yeah, I definitely broke the uh, the axle stand thing. Decent one. That one. Is Sim Toolkit Pro. Yes. Yeah, that works with um, MSFS and X Plane. Okay, right, that's done. Now I'll put this back in. Now I've got to try and think about this now. Put this back in. Yeah, then lower the lower the thing, raise the things, do the nuts back up, do the tire pressures. Right, go down now and lower the thing. Ow! Ow! Right, lower that. Raise them back up. Run around there. Go. Put my nuts back on. It's definitely one of those chill out sorts of games. I've tried to play some of the other mechanic ones, like the car mechanic one. Uh, the train mechanic one was just really odd. Um, this is the only one that I've actually found so far that I enjoy. <laughs> it's actually quite well done. You know, a little bit of detail like having Travis. It's just really cool. Because you got to go and give Travis a squeeze. I'd be interested to know, um, not only from you guys watching live, but um, for anybody watching on YouTube, uh, do you give Travis a squeeze? Because it'd be cool if people actually do uh, the same as uh, I do now. Every time you go and get a part, you give the uh, you give your duck a squeeze. Because it's got to be done. Which we will do. We'll go and give him a squeeze when we go back in there. Right, finish this axle, then put some air back in them, and then move on to the final one, which is the one at the front, and this job is done. Yeah, so Sunday afternoons, I'll, uh, I'll do something single player. We've done multiplayer stuff uh, on a Sunday before. Uh, and um, a lot of people have Sunday dinners, you know, spend s Sundays with family and stuff, so it's always difficult to try and get people uh, to join in on a Sunday afternoon. And as the summer gets here, you know, people go out for walks, away from weekends, so, you know, trying to get multiplayer stuff uh, on a Sunday is difficult. So uh, I think single-player Sundays is uh, worth doing because I have no life. Uh, right, was Marion. But you know, multiplayer stuff will be 
Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. So there's there's plenty of uh, plenty of multiplayer stuff going on. Where is the other valve? Other valve? Other there is. Oh, that's the one thing I find really boring in House Flipper, is the painting. I just that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to really be doing any more House Flipper. It just becomes decorating simulator, and knocking down walls simulator. It's just lost its. Initially, there was an appeal there for me, but yeah, I, I'm just I'm done with it now. I think. Uh, cooking sim as well. We w I will come back and do some more cooking sim because it is quite funny. Um, but when you get to know the recipes, and there isn't many of them, again, it's just it's the repetitiveness. Well, that Sims 4. I, I did try oh, that on yeah. YouTube. Uh, Kenley, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the madness. Right, there we go. Okay, so that axle is done. Uh, we can now undo the wheel nuts on this axle. The final one. You're really enjoying the pizza DLC. It's not bad. So I've tried the cakes one, but that's just... There's no real methodology to it there's no having to order food and stuff it's just i think the original cooking sim was just so good again if they did that in multiplayer that would be hilarious and you could also get more recipes coming in um and have more people just trying to do the same sort of stuff in the kitchen that would be brilliant Okay, so that's those ones off. Run around here and do the other side. Get rid of that. Then we'll lower this down, put the uh, axle stand under it, take the wheels off, put the new wheels on, raise it back up, put the new nuts back in, check the air pressures, and this job is done. So yeah, if you have just joined, uh, welcome along to the madness. If you're new to the streams, uh, currently streaming six days a week. Uh, all sorts of games uh, coming up in the next seven days for example uh, on Tuesday because I take Mondays off um, Tuesday is uh, farm sim the final look at the farm for uh, the next three or four months farms will be taking a hiatus uh, for a few months uh, and then Tuesdays will then be things like OMSI uh, we'll then do some ranch sim when that's got some updates um, maybe um, some other multiplayer stuff um, on a Tuesday um, so that's this week farming uh, Wednesday is trains so rail railway Wednesday um, Thursday is x-plane multiplayer Friday is ETS 2 multiplayer um, next Saturday is NIMBY rails at lunchtime and some Forza Horizon 4 uh, Saturday night and then something else next Sunday afternoon. So here, um, six days a week. Uh, no, I didn't play any of the Jurassic World ones. Not really my sort of thing. I've never seen the films, so got no real interest in playing the games. Uh, I've got to think about this now. Raise that up. Okay, get that out of the way. Go to this assembly. Take the wheel off. Go around the other side. Get that out of the way. Yeah, again, Planet Coaster. Mm, great for a while, but does get a bit repetitive. Uh, that one, that one, bin those, going by two more wheels, jink, jink. Okay, and go to reassembly, pop the wheel on, thank you, 
to shove that back under. Now on this side, pop the wheel on. Okay, shove that back under. Down there, lower that. Back up there. Raise that. Get rid of that. Put my nuts back on again. See, I'm getting a dab hand at this now. Wheel changing, not a problem. Yeah, I might do some cooking sim actually next Sunday. I um, haven't done it in a while. Just do the standard one, not the uh, not the pizza one. Carry on from my lovely tidy kitchen. See what disaster I can get into next Sunday. Do not tuck properly. There we go. Alright, run round here. Don't walk through the bus. But hey. Obviously, if you're watching this on uh, YouTube, that will appear on YouTube. Um, I said, I'll also bring you content on the bus uh, as soon as I'm allowed to. Um, I will uh, I'll stream that on uh, whatever evening... I'm allowed to uh, to show it. Um, I will scrap that evening's uh, stream and replace it with the bus. So hopefully at some point in the next couple of weeks, I'll be able to do that. Got your cat on the side of the bus. Pretty tat. Right, there we go. Okay. So that's done. Uh, oh no, air. I've got to put some air in my tires. No, don't just put the... Pick up the... There we are. Right, pick up the airy thing and find the valve. There it is. See, I never did this before. I just used to replace the tires and not bother putting any air in. So the drivers are thinking, that steering's a bit heavy. Feels a bit wobbly. Okay, that one done. Around the other side. Put some air in this one. Probably the longest job we've had so far. Am I fixing the wreckfest buses? Take longer than that. Blimey. Yeah, again, this I won't carry on from this save game. Or I could actually. Almost start again on the new PC. I don't know. I it could be quite interesting, actually, to start again. So just carry on from this. Um, there we go. Right, drag these out of the way. And move forward. Around the other side. Oh, it's gone. Someone stole on it. Oh, there it is. It's just a really well done game, this. Again, for something that I've not heard of, um, it's just uh, very well done. Uh, right, view job. Tires need replaced. Tick. Done the emergency systems thing. Tick. Uh, right, let's. Uh, get it out of here and hopefully the wheels don't fall off when it's reversing. Sign off job. And down comes the door and on to the next one. I wonder if it gets as far as double deckers on this one. Uh, did that, did that. Okay. The air dryer's compressor, uh, air cartridge needs to be replaced. All the emergency equipment needs to be checked. Well, we can do that. That's fine. We'll accept that. Oh, another single decker.
Uh, right. New job. That's an underneath job. Okay. And then a safety equipment. Okay. Um, so drop down there. Health and safety. It's that one there. Is it that one? What was that one? Where? Yeah. That's the one. That, what was that one? Dehumidifier cartridge. That's the one. Oh, that was easy. Okay. There's a thing in the way. Uh, Scott, thank you very much for the, uh, the... What have we done? Host, that's the thing. Uh, thank you indeed, Scott. Right. Let's go in here, give uh, Travis a squeeze. It's very oily. I'm sure he wasn't that oily before. Spare parts, engine, compressor unit. Uh, dehumidifier cartridge, that's what we need. That was quite an easy one, wasn't it? Down here, jump down here, under there. Oh, God. All right, I'm going to move this thing out of the way, because that's dangerous. What's we'll the bet in the next job? Well, I'll need it. No, all the way back. All right, slide it. There you go. Slide it. Slide it out of the way. I can't move now. Hang on, I've got to finish moving that, I suppose. There we go. Uh, right, reassembly mode. Uh, I've lost the. There it is. Put the good one back in. There we go. That's that. And it was check the uh, was it check the thingy equipment. Yeah. So that's done. And check all the doofer equipment. Um. Yeah. I I have looked at that on and off actually. Uh, PC building sim. It's at the front, isn't it? That might be quite a good one to do. Uh. Right. Visual inspection. Let's go the cupboard. What? I haven't got my spanner. Someone stole my square spanner. Flipping Travis. Okay, no, we'll do the square spanner. Uh, right, visual inspection. Okay. First aid kit. Done. That's done. That's done. Uh, and... That's 100%. That's 100%. Tolis. What? Are you having a... <laughs> yeah, Sam, I think you did actually type that out loud. Are you having a moment, Sam? See, I, I can never fly the Airbus in... X plane. Oh, that's damaged. Did I check the rest of them? Or was I just looking at them? That was 100%. Okay. 100%. So, I've got to do is change that one hammer then. Uh, that was down here. X plane Tourette's. Yeah, he just <laughs> randomly. Uh, ow! No, it wasn't this room. Sorry, wrong room. This room. Hammer. I'll just run around. Run around! God, who remembers that? With, um, what's his face? The, used to be in, um, EastEnders. Uh, that was quite random. Anyway, uh, assembly. That one. Okay. Mike Reed. Yeah, exactly. Proves how old you are, John, really, doesn't it? Um, okay. So, that... Blue, de blue, blue, de blum, de blum. That's done. A350. <laughs> Noz is joining in now with the <laughs> aircraft Tourette. 172! Right, sign this one off.
boring. I think it's quite good. Uh, okay. Tires on your axle need to be replaced. We've done some tire replacement. Do we want to do more tire? No, we're going to do it. The rear axle tire pressure needs to be checked and adjusted. That's fine. The refrigerant levels of the air conditioning system needs to be checked and refilled. We'll do that one. We've done, we've done loads of tire replacement. Like working in a tire shop. Boing. 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 So close, Trent. Just so close. Uh, right. What is it? I forgot what I'm doing now. Tire pressures. Okay. I mean, there you go. Woo. Uh, right. Compre no. Compressed air. It's cordless. How do you have a cordless compressed air tester? That's that's quite a feat, really. I probably can't. I was again. Where's the other one? That's that one. Where's the other one? That one? No, that's that one. There's two. Where's the second one? Oh, that is a second. Hang on. Are they both... Oh, they're both right. That's why. <laughs> Just... What? Don't do that. Brr. I'm going to have to block you. Um, like that. No. Where's the other valve? I've lost the other valve. Where is it? It's, that's, that's that one. It's, it's got to be inside the wheel somewhere. I'm not going to jack the thing up just to really game you're going to make me do it aren't you you're going to make me there's one there isn't a second one it's not there there's one okay there's only one on that side <laughs> what, else, what else are we doing um Refrigerant levels, uh, which is at the back. Okay. Oh, that's not good, uh, Dylan. Uh, okay, is it? Oh, it's this thing over here, isn't it? Move to connection point. Uh, okay. There we go. Good afternoon. There we go. That's done. Park that back again. Shot me flat on my head. Done. Well, apart from one tyre pressure, which I couldn't do, we'll sign that off. It's fine. We got four tyres in the back, one being low will be absolutely fine. Uh, oh, actually, it gave me... Uh, it gave me okay. Right. Next. The engine oil levels need to be checked and refilled. We can do that. How long have I been streaming for now? Oh, about five years. Nearly six. Not in one go, obviously. Because, you know. I'd be really tired. Uh, but in, in in today's stream, an hour and 47 minutes uh, now. Uh, right. 
Yeah, I got to play with dipstick. Okay, at the back. If I had a dipstick, I'd. Oh yeah. Okay. So need some. Uh, I need some oils. Engine oil. Uh, there we go. Ow. Done. And sign off job. Done. That was easy. Whip it in. Fill it up. Whip it out. Indeed. Uh, right, next one. Change the gearbox oil. The air dryer's compressed air cartridge needs to be replaced. The coolant levels need to be checked and refilled. Okay. We'll probably only do a couple more jobs before we finish. Yeah, it's definitely one of those really, really relaxing sims. And it's, well, from the ones I've played, uh, the the best of the mechanic simulator genre. Okay, change the gearbox oil. So we've got to drain it from underneath uh, and then refill it from the top. Or didn't someone say there was a flap on the side? There isn't, is there? Exhaust system flap. Cylinder bench service flap. No, it's got to be done from the top then, isn't it? Unless it's further down. No. Okay, so... Get the... Thingy underneath the thingy. Return to drain position. Return to gearbox position. Put that in the undo. Under the exhaust flap. Uh, oh, it's fluids. There we go. Right. Drain the liquids out. Done. Okay. So now I've got to go and grab gearbox oil, which is going to be somewhere that's water. Gearbox oil, I'm looking for. Gearbox oil. Has anybody seen my gearbox oil? And get me over here, buddy. Easy oil, engine oil, dustbin. Gearbox oil. There we go. Hi, right, Jopu. I'll probably now be out open. So, exhort no, that one. Okay. Gearbox control line, gearbox housing, cut the converter, press tab. Tab doesn't do anything, apart from highlight everything. That's not... What? That's just ridiculous. I'm going to do it through the top. It's easier. Under... What? Well, there. That seems slightly cheaty. Because you have to have one hell of a strange funnel to get it in there. That's a lot of oil. Bling. Mm, yeah, it feels better going through the through the inside, but okay, we got it done. Change the gearbox oil. Done. Uh, air dryer's compressed air cartridge needs to be replaced. That's the one we did before underneath there. That's easy to do. And then the coolant levels need to be checked and refilled. 
Okay, coolant level. We'll do the coolant level because that's easy because that's round the back. Okay, current level. Oh, yeah, it's quite low. Refilling the current level. It's a hell of a big watering can to do that. That's done, and then underneath to do the the cartridge thing. Go. Right, that can go back now. Turn to parking position. Uh, no. Disassembly. It was there. Okay, grab that. Go and get a new one of those. Give Travis a squeeze. Uh, engines around two. An air conditioning unit. No. Engine. Vehicle. Radio heater. No. Where was it? It was somewhere around here. There. That one. Go. Travis needs a bit of water. He's dirty. He needs a clean. Alright. Go and pop this one back in. There we go. That's that done. Let's look at my tick sheet. So, air drive compressor. Yeah. Coolant levels. Yeah. Done. Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Take him in the bath with you, Trent. Give, give, give him a good clean. Sign off job. other rubber ducks to clean. You'll get Travis jealous. Uh, that's done. The rear axle tyre pressures need to be checked and adjusted. Well, that's easy. We can do that. It's all about getting the points and unlocking more stuff. So sometimes, yeah, you do end up with a few repetitive jobs, but uh, it does become uh, easy then because you know what to do. Providing, of course, you can do it. Uh, right. Grab the uh, air hosey uh, compressed air doofer. Rear axle, wouldn't it? Okay. Check that. Oh, God! I've fallen! <laughs> See? That's why there are boards there. To stop you falling down <laughs> between the... I'll, I'll walk round. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll just, I'll just walk round. Is this the one with the rubber ducky? It is. Okay, that one's fine. Uh, there should be another one. There it is. Okay, that one's fine. Let's just uh, crouch our way around the outside. There we go. Right, that one's done. So, tick she adjusted. Yes. Stand up now. Done. Sign off. Thank you. Easy. Easy one, that was. Very straight bit reversing as well. Okay, done. 
all the tyre pressures need to be checked and adjusted and check the emergency equipment. Okay. We'll do this one and then we'll do one more after this one and then we will call it a day. Because uh, we'll be doing a couple of hours. Right. Uh, I've still got my me, uh, me thing in my hand, so uh, let's do the tyre pressures then. Let's air out of that one. And that one. Let's go down and do the other one. Always check your tyre pressures, people. Underinflated or overinflated tyres are not good. Gotta be just right. Okay, that one. Oh, forward. And where are you? Where are you, little valve? There we are. Like food, then? Yeah, too much or not enough? Never good. Oh wow, that's that's a lot of air in that one. Okay, so that's done. So tick that off. All tire pressures checked. Yes, and check the emergency equipment. I'll stand up for that. Uh, visual inspection mode. Go around and get inside the bus. No, don't open the flap. I was trying to push the button. Push the button. There we go. Okay, 100%. No, don't close the flap, you fool. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Shut the flap. 100%. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, hammers. 100%. Uh, 100%. 100%. And 100%. And the final one is 100%. I don't know if you can hear the writing going on. Hammer time. Close the... There we go. Right, job done. Pass that one off. Actually, I'll show you. Before we do our final job, if anybody's new and hasn't seen... Uh, the whole garage uh, yet can show you the things that we can uh, and will unlock or ha have unlocked but will unlock again uh, before we then um, do our final job so we'll accept it and then um, take you on a little tour okay so minus 50 for that one what did I check then Window hammers were fine. Warning triangles was there. First aid kit was fine. Flashing lights was fine. Fire extinguisher was fine. Rear axle tyre pressures. Okay, so we'll, we'll finish on the easy one then. Oh, our first double decker. going to end with a double decker the double deckers the double deckers uh, right so yes obviously so you've got three bays in the garage single deckers come into this one bendy buses come into this one and double deckers come into the other one so spare parts bay uh, is over here well where you can buy tires from is over here um, so you buy your tyres there. You've got some of your equipment here that you pick up to do some of your jobs. Scrap stuff, when you finish with it, goes in there. So I can get rid of those. Uh, more tools and equipment here. This area in here doesn't seem to do anything. Um, electrical systems, bits and pieces, and used batteries uh, in here. And obviously you can turn on the light. I do like the fact that the lights flicker on and off as well which is quite cool um, 
and uh, round here lays milling machines etc radio which I won't turn on um, and uh, with a workbench where Sam would normally be sat shouting at people down the phone um, another workbench here and a couple of bits of uh, equipment on here as well this is spare parts room so uh, where a lot of the spares are kept in here on shelves so segregated into what parts of the bus they are so you come in here and you grab the bit that you need to do the job that you're doing um, all on the shelves here and round here the most important thing in the game though is of course Travis because he's just cool um, so out of here another room here where there's uh, spares so doors um, body spares more body spares so eventually you unlock a lot bigger repairs to um, the buses which we haven't even got anywhere near doing yet so articulation joints for the bendy buses um, interior parts that's all the um, emergency equipment that we've had to do today um, and then I think that goes anywhere out there no it doesn't and in here we've got the testing bay uh, where you test like headlight alignment and um, emissions so vehicles will come into here and you do other tests on them so so much to unlock um, as a game it's just it's really one of those that just sort of flown under the, the radar very very underrated um, and something so I will come back to on a regular basis I'll, I'll pencil it in uh, to come back and do more of it because I just find it so relaxing so rear axle tire pressures need to be uh, checked that one's fine and find the oh it's only a ah that's double so this is a, it's only a it's only a single at the back I think it might be actually now we could look underneath uh, yeah it is it's only a single at the back okay I have to run out the front again now ow well I've gone the long way around there haven't I <laughs> wow okay so that side's fine uh, and then just do this side and that tire pressure's fine as well so there we go so we can tick off the sheet and done Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Don't keep falling down the pit, you fall. Right, let's run back around here again. Again, this sort of thing would be really cool in multiplayer. If you could have, like, three buses in at once and various people running around grabbing spare parts. Um, it's just so good. Most new sims that are good nowadays go under the radar, which makes it the big boys have an advantage of being able to push out uh, the games as little ones don't get recognised. Yeah, and I do really like those you know, little under the radar games like NIMBY Rails. Awesome. This is really cool. Uh, Ranch Simulator sort of flown under the ra radar. And I, I do like finding these little tiny sort of unknown entities. Um, so yes, we'll kick this bus out and then we will end for today. I'll have to accept the next one on before I can end though because it won't let me get out of that otherwise. So our first double decker leaves. Oh yeah. Flaming Arrow, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, follow the ride at the end, but hopefully you're enjoying the content. There we go. Rear axle tire pressure needs to be checked and adjusted. I did that. Why is it telling me I didn't do that? I did that. Unless it meant both the rear axles. Damn you. Okay. We'll accept this in and then we'll, um, we'll end. We won't actually do it though. So there we go. Uh, we will end there. Uh, for those watching live, the next stream will be back on Tuesday evening. 
uh, back with some farming. A final update from the farm. Uh, farm's going to be uh, taking a hiatus for a few months. We'll be back in the summer. Um, uh, Wednesday evening is back in train sim. Hopefully doing the journey from Leeds across to York. Uh, Thursday is uh, X-Plane. Uh, doing a flight from East Midlands to uh, Innsbruck. So I'm really looking forward to that one. Back in the Zebo again. Uh, Friday is return of trucking. Some multiplayer. Saturday lunchtime then is some NIMBY rails. Saturday evening back in Forza Horizon 4. Uh, and then next Sunday afternoon I think we'll do some cooking sim. Because I haven't done that in a while. Back in the standard kitchen doing some cooking. Uh, so thanks to you lot for uh, keeping me company for the last couple of hours. Uh, and a thanks to um, this lot when it uh, eventually works. There we go. So thanks to the mods, uh, Dylan, Larwood, uh, Nightbot and Sam. Uh, to Flaming Arrow, Kenley and Wirox, thank you very much for following. And to Scott and Mike for hosting. Thank you very, very much indeed. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday and uh, be back on Tuesday with some farming. Until then, if you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.